Most women absolutely hate it when a man knows his worth. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to react to a video. But first, guys, my name is King Dre, or you can call me Captain Saver, bro, and I'm here to save the day. I'm your gracious, gracious game advisor. And before we get into the game, guys, like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you can get this good player-ish fresh off the press. Y'all know my slogan, playerism is the antidote to feminism. But let's get into what you guys came to see. I'm gonna let you men in on a little secret, ladies. Don't kill me for this, but women hate for a man to know his word. I said it, yeah. We don't like that shit. Nigga come around thinking he know his word, though. He too good for this, he too good for that. A man that I knows am, his bitch. word ain't gonna let us play with him. And I don't like that. I Damn mean, right. I don't what like you that. Nigga, about? I need you to come around not knowing shit. <laughs> That's why I don't like men who like know that word. Though. Like, <laughs> I hate y'all. I hate men who know their worth. They be like, I don't gotta deal with girl shit. I know my worth. I got my shut the fuck up. Four men was just like dinner and dick. but now y'all want to be like having real deep conversations and shit. <laughs> y'all want to be like asking like, what you what you do. Oh, what the fuck I do trying to cut bitches off. Like, no, I don't got time for the drama. Or you toxic. I hate when they say to me, you toxic. So what's up? What you doing tomorrow? Who yeah. teaching y'all that shit? For real, who teaching y'all that shit? Who teaching us what? Y'all worth. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Me, bitch. I'm teaching them they worth. King Dre is teaching them they worth. That's who. And other guys like me. It ain't too many. It's a lot of guys teaching men how to complain and whine and pout and modern women. That fuck all that. I'm teaching men their worth. And again, guys like me. Now. I was talking to one of my homegirls years ago, one of my good homegirls right now, my good friends. I was talking to her years ago about, uh, we was just having a, a conversation, like a regular normal conversation. about. I forgot about what at this point. Um, you know, and I was standing my ground on, you know, whatever we was talking about. And she was like, see, you one of them know your worth ass niggas. I hate niggas like you. I can't stand niggas like you. And when she said that, you know, of course, I'm like, yeah, you know, and this was way before I started doing this, by the way, before I started, you know, being a coach and making content and stuff like that um, and bringing this game to the world. Um, but I'm like, you damn, you damn right. And ain't nobody going to play with it. But I've always been like that. Like I've been, you know, I always known, you know, who I was. Now, as I got older in my, you know, mid to late 20s, I started to realize my worth as a man. But outside of that, I, I, I've always thought that I was that dude especially when it came to women but she said that to me and i started noticing other women say that to me and that ain't just a black woman thing i've i've heard white women say this uh, basically american women i've heard them say things like that right like oh i hate a, a, a dude who know his worth and i'm gonna tell you why that's because they can't get over on you when you know your worth they can't exploit you when you know your worth they can't take advantage of you when you know your worth. They got to treat you good when you know your worth. They got to come correct when you know your worth. They can't half step and be lazy. You understand? A lot of women a lot of women want to be lazy and they want to half step and they want to half ass. They want to put a little bit in and get a lot out. And unfortunately, they're able to do that because a lot of guys don't know their worth. But the problem with that is they're trained and they think all men are like this. And so when they get into, you know, run into a dude like me, I got to put my motherfucking Mac boots on. And then they all shocked and hurt and crying and sniffling when I cut them off. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm such a valuable guy. I'm the guy that they, you know, that they dream of. The guy that they, they, that. The guy that they only believe existed in movies. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that I'm the only guy like this, but we are far and few in between. A lot of guys just don't know their worth. But they actually got to come correct when you know your worth. They got to treat you good when you know your worth. When you know your worth. They got to put in effort. And putting in effort takes effort. They actually got to provide value. You understand? They can't just do what they want to do. They got to behave. They got to respect you. You see, they actually have to be a good human being, a good, decent human being when they know your worth. See, it's easy to be a shit bag. It's easy to be a dirt bag. That's, that's the easiest thing to do. Being a good person actually takes strength and will and discipline and whatever else positive quality that you quality that you need to be a good person. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I want you guys to understand this. A lot of women's survival depend 
solely on suckers and simps. A lot of women's survival, a lot of women cannot survive with their bills, their, their standards of living, just basic survival. If it wasn't for suckers and simps, a lot of women would be homeless and bums. A lot of women wouldn't have safety and security if it wasn't for a sucker or a simp and guys who don't know their worth, right? And a lot of women can only experience the finer things in life if men didn't know their worth, meaning the gold diggers and men, women who are here finessing guys and the professional daters that's getting the gold on all these dates and all these dinner dates and getting flued out and, and all this shit and, and, you know, dealing with tricks and guys who tricking and guys who pay masters and ducks, these women get to live good lives off of the backs of ducks and guys who don't know their worth. And not just in relationship, personal one-on-one type of situations, but also but also things like, you know, sex workers like OnlyFans and stuff like this. Guys who know their worth is not finna be paying a woman $25 a month to fake chat with her in her DMs. Like guys who know their worth ain't finna be paying a woman for no feet pictures. Guys who know their work worth are not going to be spending money on the hopes of romance. Guys who know their worth ain't even gonna be spending money on sex really like that, right? Now it's 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 some I don't condone it tricking. But there's some instances where it's understandable, like high value politician guys who just trying to get off and they wanna, you know, be discreet, whatever, right? <clears throat> Well, guys who have a lot to lose, I kind of I understand the mentality. I don't condone in it. But what I'm saying is guys who know their worth are not going to pay a woman for her time, pay monetar- monetarily with gifts for her time or the idea of romance. Because a guy who knows his worth, he understand that he has the things that women need and women need these things and he has them. And why do he have to pay? She the one that should have to pay. Right. Because she, he has all of the value. Not to say that women don't have value, but this guys who know their worth understand the type of value that they have. And at the end of the day, they should be putting a price on it. You see what I'm saying? A woman should be paying for this shit, right? Really, guys who who know their worth, they think like that. So they're not gonna be paying no woman for no OnlyFans. Um, you know, OnlyFans and X, X work and feet pictures and you know. P hub and all that guys who know they worth ain't going to be doing that. Right. And one more thing that I need you guys to understand before I get up out of here. Right. <clears throat> Listen to me. You are valuable as a man. You are valuable. Even if you take the money away, I'm not talking about this high value shit where it's about money. If you take the money away, just as a man, you are valuable. And I need you guys to understand your value as a man. You are more than just money and a piece of sex. You are way more than that. And women actually need you. I don't care what they saying on these internet streets. I don't care what feminism says. Yeah, feminists say we don't we don't need men. We don't need men. Yes, the fuck they do because men even make it safe for them to even be able to say that. You understand? Yes, they do. You you women need you, right? Women need you for your protection. Women need to feel safe and protected by you. Again, take away money and sex. Women need the, the, the protection. Women need the leadership. Women need the companionship. Women need the emotional validation. These are just the things that make you value as a man, valuable as a man. And pay attention to this. Listen to what I'm saying. These are things that all of us have that all, all of us can develop as men without the fucking money. This is why bum guys, guys who bums can get pussy, by the way. This is what they don't teach you, right? But the perfect, the protection, the leadership, the companionship, the emotional validation, the physical validation, the fucking attention, which is currency for women, right? Emotional support, intimacy, direction, right? Guidance. And, you know, it's a whole list of shit, right? That I can keep going and going and going and going. But the most important is you have the seed of life, my dude. You have the life force laying dormant in your testicles waiting to grow, right? Without you, right, as a man, women don't get to really feel feminine without you. The things that make a woman feel feminine and happy and free is if it's not if 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 you if you remove a man from the equation, they don't get to experience that. They don't get to feel that. 
I'm not saying a woman can't a woman can't be happy without you. A woman can't thrive without you as a man. But I'm talking about to feel that feminine feeling that women ever love so uh, ever love so much that freeing feminine feeling because femininity is freeing to them. In order for women to feel that they need you right. Without you, they can't really feel that. They don't get to use their feminine gifts, right? They can't experience motherhood. None of that shit. And I'm not talking about if things go sour or dealing with toxic people, but I'm talking about in a healthy scenario. Women, don't, they don't get to feel that without you. So understand your value as a man. It's the most important shit ever. And when women don't want you to uh, understand your value, this is how they talk. This is why you see them shaming you for every little thing that you do, for everything that you do, there's women shaming you about it. Nothing, no matter what you do, they shaming you because you guys are starting to wake up. You guys are starting to understand your value more and more and more and more versus back in the days, it was only a few guys, but thanks to guys like me and a few others out here teaching men their value, right? Guys are waking up and eventually Women are going to have to get on board, right? But anyway, guys, that's been that. My name is King Dre. I'm your gracious game advisor. Like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you can get this good player-ish fresh out the press. Guys, join my private, exclusive men's community if you want to learn your value. If you go look, I have a free course on how to learn, uh, how to how to build and display your value. I have a free course on that somewhere. Just go find it. Um, Maybe I, 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 used, to, I used to charge for it, but... I thought it was extremely important, so I just made it free. Um, I did it as a podcast episode, so go find that somewhere. But anyway, if you want to learn the, the game, you want to get better at dating, you want to learn your value, you want to be a top-tier guy, join my private exclusive men's community, the Players Club. You're going to get so many benefits. Just go to theplayersclub.vip, and you can see all of the benefits. Um, you know, tons and tons and tons of value. Um, I think the most important um, – the most important – or my favorite thing about all of the value is that you get personal direct access to me. You know, I'm your personal, you be your personal coach. So um, it's only 25 bucks a month. That's the Players Club at theplayersclub.vip. Uh, click the link in the description or wherever you see this at, the bio, the comments, wherever you see this at, or go to theplayersclub.vip. But anyway, guys, that's been that. My name is King Dre. I'm your gracious game advisor. Yours truly, King Dre. Excuse me, I'm gone.